Now, femtech is a relatively new and growing area of technology devoted to women. Tanya Bola is part of that space. She launched LV. It's an award-winning, net-connected pelvic floor trainer. I went to have a chat with her about things that, to be honest, I've never spoken about in front of a camera before. So this goes inside you like a tampon, okay. right? So it's very small and smooth. There's no sharp edges. More than 90% of women find it comfortable. This is the tail, which has the Bluetooth antenna that talks to your phone. As I apply pressure here, the gem is shooting up and down on the screen. So what it means is women, when they exercise their pelvic floor, they can see in real time how they're doing. How important is it for women to have a strong pelvic floor muscle? It's important for all women, but the problem is most women don't think about it until they start suffering from sort of bladder weakness, uh, which happens to pretty much every new mother. One in three women will also have stressed urinary incontinence, which is that kind of accidental peeing that you hear about if you cough or sneeze or run. And most mothers who I know, they kind of just accept that this is part of being a woman when it doesn't need to be if you look after your pelvic floor. Have you been upset or frustrated at any point during this process at how wider <laughs> society has treated you and this product? I mean, I've been frustrated. It's been hard because not only is it that there's no good technology that existed, which is what we wanted to do with LV, create something that women like to use that is also effective, but frustrated because people don't even talk about the issues. What do you think needs to change in, in attitudes towards tech like this? On the, the perceptions around women's health, we need to have more open conversations about our bodies and our health. You know, women make up 51% of the population. Nearly all of us go through periods and menopause, and most of us will go through pregnancy and childbirth. And these are huge, important parts of women's life that, that we don't talk about. And because we don't talk about it, we don't have the, the technology and the solutions. And then the second key thing is kind of very much in the tech sector. You know, when we launched LV, the tech sector, which is mostly male-dominated, they didn't take it seriously. They thought it was gimmicky. They didn't believe it was a real issue for women. They didn't think women would buy this product. They thought it was a kind of sex toy. But now, it's like there's been a watershed moment. Now, now we're, we've just won the hottest um, hardware startup, the Europas Awards, one of the top 15 startups to watch on the Sunday Times. So we've definitely been sort of embraced by the tech world because people have realised that this is serious technology. Just because it goes in an intimate part of your body doesn't make it silly or frivolous. And that's the bit that everybody's missed. You know, 51% of the population of women, we have real health needs that have been completely overlooked by the tech side. So is that what the, the growth in femtech is all about? Completely. It's, it's rec femtech is all about recognising you know, there's key moments in women's life that have been completely overlooked. You know, menopause, where's the technology to help women during menopause? Pregnancy, postnatal periods. How do you know LV works? Because women tell us. You know, we have a, we have a lot of data, we, have a lot of, we do a lot of surveys, we're running clinical trials. We see that more than 80% of women will see improvement within four weeks. And the improvement they're seeing, it's not just a health improvement or physical improvement, it's also on their confidence and their control and their sense of wellness. LV is our first product. We'll be launching four connected products over the next three years, all helping women with real problems.